we were talking about um, how to know the lot size to use and to know how much you are risking. Now, for you to calculate the pips, we you, it should be based on market structure, I told you. That is what we determine mm -hmm. how much you are going to risk. Market structure, like, it, don't say, uh, I want to risk 10 pips, I want to risk 20 pips. You don't know what you are doing, except it should be based on market structure. So let's say if I, I enter this market here now, the best place for you to put stop loss should be above this point. This point where uh -huh. pre, that's the best place for you to form to, to put a uh -huh. stop loss. You get stop loss. Uh -huh. yes. so if you enter and you, you put it down here, you don't know what you are doing, it's not based on market structure. You get so if you extend that mm -hmm. here that you want to put because you don't expect price to come and pass this other block to come and pass this fair value gap that I drew this point. And then even come and pass here. If price reaches that, then it means it has reversed direction. And it means that uh, you were wrong in your analysis. So your stop loss should be above here. I'm using market structure now to set. It's not pips. So when I the market is currently here and you want to enter there, you get it means mm. from here to this point, how many pips when you calculate it? When you extend this thing, it's giving you 44.9 pips. Mm -hmm. And let's round that it up. 50 to 45. Pips, uh, 50, 45 pips. Good. Mm -hmm. So let's round it up like that to 45 pips. Let me delete these things to clear out what I'm doing. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Now, for any time you enter the market, try to get two times that amount. Now, this is 1.64. It means you have to keep waiting for this market to come and reach a point like this for you to get times two of the amount. So you see, when you extend it, it means you should extend it till the price reaches, you are going to put your take profit at a point that is here, of which mm. correspondingly should give you 1.28842, you get? Mm. Uh -huh. Very good. So if I enter this market here and you have now known that based on market structure, my stop loss should be above here. And based on market structure, when I enter here, it should, based on good trading, it should be one to ratio two, the risk. So if you risk 100 Minimum. times the amount, then you mm. extend this thing to give you where you think you should stop. So it should be here, which is 1.28853, you get from yeah. this price, I'm seeing that from this price. So if you hover over here where this thing ends and you shift to this right-hand side, you'll find this black box side that is showing 1.28846. Mm. 1. Right? So you now go yes. to trading up now. You get you have now known that this, I am entering here and I have to put my stop loss above here to show that I know what I'm doing because I don't expect price to mm -hmm. come and reach here. So when you click on this, you say, okay, now how many pips is, is it from here to here? Now, how many pips is showing me 44.9, approximately 45 pips. You get very good. Now, how much do you want to risk on this amount? If for, for, for most peers in Forex, for most of the peers in Forex, you get if yes. you enter, let me get the writing tool here to show you. Let me get the writing tool. Uh -huh. One lot size means you are using means you are using hundred thousand US dollars to enter the market. That's what it means. Wow. If you put one lot, don't think the one is so tiny. It means you are using one hundred thousand US dollars to buy whatever you are buying. If I'm to use 0 0.1 lot size, it means I am using 10,000 US dollars to wow. enter the market. You get? Wow. If I use 0 0.01 lot size, it means I am using one thousand dollars 
1,000 US dollars to enter the market. Now, most wow. people don't have $100,000 in their accounts to enter, to, to load in their broker, like to deposit in their broker. Most mm -hmm. people have 10,000. Most people will not even have 1,000. You get yeah. the reason why your broker will multiply that money that you bring. So when you bring $100, your broker can say, I will multiply it for you 1,000 times. If your broker is going to multiply your money 1,000 times, it means your broker is giving you a leverage of 1,000. Okay. If, you're, if you bring $10, $10 and your broker gives you a leverage of 1,000, it means he's going to multiply that one, that $10, he's going to multiply it 1,000 times, which will be $10,000 that you will have available for you to enter the market. Okay. You get what I'm trying to say, right? Now, the yes, amount of money that you, you will contribute before your broker will allow you to enter that market. So if you are bringing $100 and your broker is multiplying it times 1,000, it means the total amount of money that you will use to enter the market will be $100,000. Are you following me? Yes. That $100 you are bringing is what is called the margin. Okay. The amount that the, your broker will multiply that, the number of times the, the broker will multiply that $100 you bring is what is called leverage. So okay. if you see your leverage of one ratio 1,000, it means that for every $1 you bring, they will multiply it by 1,000. Okay. No any question regarding this, right? No. Uh-huh. Now, it means that if you enter 0 0.1 lot size, then it means you are using $10,000 to enter the market. You are using $10,000 to enter the market. Now, for most peers that are having, you will see one point something, one point something, one point something. You get what I'm saying? For mm. every one peer, movement let me shift these guys here for you to know let me bring another right into and then put it up here mm -hmm. now it means for every one peep a peep now that we are talking you get mm -hmm. for every one peep when you use one lot size this lot size one lot size now to enter the market for every one peep movement When you use one lot size, let me write it here. When you use one lot size, for every one peep movement, you will either be given 10 US dollars or you will be deducted 10 US dollars when the market moves. So mm -hmm. if the market moves one peep in your favor, when you enter with one lot size, you are going to get 10 US dollars. Mm -hmm. If it moves 10 pips in your favor, when you enter one lot size, you are get, going to gain 100 US dollars in your account. Mm. Are you following? Yes. Very good. Now, if it goes against you too, 10 pips against you, one pip, it will give you $10. One pip against you is $10, it will deduct. 100 pips and 10 pips against you, when you enter with one lot size, it will go 100 US dollar against you, it will deduct hundred dollars from your account. Okay. You are following, right? Yes, I'm following. Yes. Uh -huh. Now, if we have known all these things, then it means if you are using zero point one, let me put for one peep, one peep. When you use 0 0.1 lot size, it will give one US dollars against or in your favor. So if you are using 0 0.1 lot size for every one pip movement, it will give you one dollar in your favor or it will deduct one dollar against you. Hmm. Then okay. the one pip. 
when you use 0 0.01 lot size you get it will mm. give 0 0.1 us dollars against or in your favor okay I'm doing it now so for one lot yes. size ten dollars in your favor for 0 0.1 one us dollar in your favor for 0 0.01 lot size is 0 0.1 us dollar in your favor for every one one peep that the market moves in your favor or uh, one one peep against you this is what will be deducted mm -hmm. if you are using these lot sizes you are following right okay. yes mm -hmm. let me shift this thing for you to be following you are seeing it with these things that mm -hmm. i have given now that you are seeing them on the screen let me delete this green line for you to know this thing is very vital these numbers that you are seeing that i'm doing now they are very vital uh -huh. so we are seeing it now so yes. it means you are you 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 want to set your stop loss 45 pips away from where you entered 45 pips 45 pips you want to set away from where you entered so it means that if you were using 0 0.1 lot size and you are entering the market it means you are entering with 10000 us dollars and we say for every one pip movement when you use 0 0.1 lot size one dollar will be deducted it means therefore that when you enter with 0 0.1 lot size in this in this market right now it means you are risking 45 dollars okay when you use 0 0.1 lot size right yes yes now let us use that app let's use the the distance so that you will see that it will reflect exactly 45 dollars that you are risking so let's say i want to enter 0 0.1 okay you see how i'm editing yes. here right yes i can see uh -huh. so you will shift and you write 0 0.1 here when you finish mm. you click on sell so let's set our stop loss to be above above somewhere here in our graph so in our graph right now right yes sir uh -huh. it's supposed to be above here this is 1.30208 right so you go yes, over you hold let me be showing you people what is going on so you press and hold you click on modify like i showed in the other video where the stop loss is you are right one point one point what this point that is here one point three zero zero two oh eight right Yes, yes, one point three zero two. That's that's what you will come and put inside this place for stop loss. You click on modify. Very good. So you will now go to your chart. Your chart part. So under your chart now, you see when I click on this, how much am I risking? How much is it showing you? The forty-five. Forty-five. Yes. And that's because I entered with a 0 0.1 lot size. So now I, let me let me ask this. So that means mm. 45 dollar will be deducted from your um your balance. It won't be deducted immediately, but as the market goes against you, it will be deducting. If it is going in your favor, yes, it, it will be, be adding. adding. It will be you adding. Get? Yes. Uh -huh. So you yes. can see now it's, it's having a profit of zero point is changing. You can see. So they won't just deduct the money mm. immediately. It's based on how much is going because I mm. can decide to close it now. So they can't just deduct it. But now I'm yes. risking $45 by using 0 0.1 lot size. If you don't want that, let's say it was not $45 you wanted risking. Then the smallest lot size available in trading right now is 0 0.01 which means 0 0.01 lot size. If I enter 0 0.01 lot size, it means for every one peep movement, I am going, there is 0 0.1 that 
that will be deducted. So it means if I enter around here and I set my stop loss at the same time, but now with a 0 0.01 lot size, now let me enter it so that you will see how it's, it's happening. Let's I go back there. You get? Mm -hmm. Let me click on this. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. So instead of zero, I end 0 0.01 lot size that I'm entering with it now. So for every one mm -hmm. movement against me, it is 0 0.1 US dollars that will be deducted. So it means if it's 45 pips away, it means that it will be 4.5 dollars that I will be risking. Okay. So let me click on sell. I'm selling at that point now. Right? Mm. Uh -huh. yes, now, sir. where I entered, let me modify it and put my stop loss. Our stop loss was, was at 1.30208, right? Yes. When you finish, click on the modify. Now, when you see I come back to the chart, by the time I come back to the chart part, if I click, if I click, let me make this to disappear. If I click that 0 0.1 that I entered, you see it's only 4 point, the 4.5 you get that will be deducted yes. from your account, which you see is 4.42 because I didn't enter the exact point where I entered the 0 0.1. That's why it's, if not, it's the 4.5. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Yes. Very good. Now, if I enter one lot size of which I will not because I'm not willing, really, my market can swing anytime right now. So I won't risk that for your for this video because this account is okay. something is for the profit. So I'm not using it, it that one lot okay. size. So if I was to okay. use one lot size, one lot size, yes. and I put this same point 45 pips away, it means I'm risking 450 US dollars. Okay. You get? Yes. Be because for every one pip in against or in your favor, it is 10 US dollars that will be deducted. Mm 